And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Fallout 4. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe button, let's get into it. Charging into a situation you got to blame is a good way to get yourself killed. Proctor. That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions, and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them, his offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. What's Prime armed with? Prime has two weapon systems, his eye laser and his nuke pack. The eye laser can target a hostile from hundreds of yards out and take it down with pinpoint accuracy. His nukes are modified Mark 28 nuclear bombs. They used to drop the things from bombers during the war. Just one of the nukes is equivalent to about three or four fat man shells. Basically, whatever it hits isn't getting up again. His eye laser is almost ready to go, but without nukes to load into his pack, he's fighting at less than half his capability. Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. I wish I could. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. Can I build the nukes like I built the actuators? I could build you a thousand nuke casings, right now. But we've got nothing to put inside them. The Mark 28s have a specialized nuclear payload that requires the correct balance of fissile materials in order for them to detonate properly. In other words, I'd love to mix you a cocktail, but I'm all out of liquor. But before you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation, which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. I'll head up there immediately. Good, because that's exactly what we're asking you to do. Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the glowing sea. I suggest you head out there first and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up, and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight. If we keep standing in this radiation, you're going to get sick. Scribe Halen. It's good to see you we'll again, Knight. You You've come play. a long way since you stumbled into Cambridge Police Station. Thanks, Halen. I assume the place is still in one piece. We're doing the best that we can. We've had the occasional synth attack, but so far we've been able to keep them from overrunning us. Thanks to the reinforcements and the air support, I'd say that site was secure. That's not surprising. After all, it's in good hands. I appreciate that. Anyway, I know you don't have time for small talk, so I'll get right to it. I've had the men set up the equipment we'll need to pinpoint you once you've found the bombs. We've rigged up this distress pulser to emit a unique tone that we'll be listening for. When you find the bombs, plant the pulser, and we'll handle the rest. 
After that, you should probably head back to Proctor Ingram and bring her your report. Doesn't sound too difficult. Ah, uh, no. Not at all. You're only heading back into the most inhospitable place in the entire Commonwealth. Look, I know you've been through the Glowing Sea before, but remember to keep an eye on your Geiger counter. If you don't, the radiation will cook you from the inside out. Good luck, Knight. I wish I was back at HQ. I feel a lot safer.
strange. My audio receptors are barely picking up any noise. State your purpose, stranger. You walk on Atom's hallowed ground. I'm looking for some bombs. Nuclear bombs. The children of Atom have sworn to guard this place until the time of the Great Divide. Enough of this nonsense. Tell me where the nukes are. Right now. Your anger will not... You will leave... <sighs> All right, nut job. This is your last warning. Show me the nukes, or else. No! Your time on this ambush. <laughs> Captain Mitch Dunleavy, 132nd Engineering Corps at Sentinel Site Prescott. All lines of communication are down, and we're tracking multiple inbounds on radar. This is a drill. We need confirmation immediately. We've got a lot of nervous soldiers over here, Command. This is the big one. They want to head home to their families before it's too late. Some of the inbounds are getting awfully close. Wait a minute. The inbounds...
inbounds are splitting into multiple targets? Oh, hell. This is it, isn't it? May God have mercy on us. Dr. Ingram. Looks like the Mark 28s are gonna do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. <laughs> it's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep his system stable are gonna hold. confidence in everyone's abilities here. I appreciate that. Proctor, all the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. Actually, I think I'm gonna let you press the button. After all, without your help, we'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task, but I suppose you deserve to be the one to do it. <laughs> run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command. Accepted. Give him a moment. He needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module. Online. Audio functionality test. Initialized. Designation. Liberty Prime. Mark II. Mission. The liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Primary targets, any and all red Chinese invaders. Now let me run a system analysis and a battle readiness check. Liberty Prime, full system analysis. All systems, nominal, weapons, hot. Warning, nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. Warning. Power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart. Recommended. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders. 
compromised. Got green lights across the board here. He's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. What was that he said about his power core? Prime's in top shape, but his nuclear engine needs to be restarted. Right now, we have him running off of the Pridwin's engines. Once I get that sorted out, we'll send him off to kick in the Institute's front door. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power arm. You think I'll need it for my next assignment? I don't know, but it never hurts to be prepared. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxon said he... And thank you, Knight. is spiking. We may want to move. is a significant first step, but it still only works on one strain of FEV. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. You're welcome to make use of my lab. Or help yourself to any of this junk if you want it. In the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. She might not look like much, but the Pridwin... Is there anything you wish to tell me, Knight? Not at all. I have nothing to hide. I find that very hard to believe. Proctor Quinlan completed the decryption of the data you retrieved from the Institute. A portion of his findings included a list of synths that went missing or escaped from their underground facility. After careful analysis of the information, we've discovered something. Unprecedented. Paladin Dance is a perfect match for one of the synths on that list. That's impossible. I'm afraid not. The evidence is quite damning. The data you brought back included a record of each subject's DNA. We keep the same information on file for all of our soldiers. 
Paladin Dance's DNA is a perfect match for a synth they called M797. To make matters worse, he's gone AWOL, disappeared without a trace. His sudden absence simply reinforces our conclusion that M797 and Paladin Dance are one and the same. I'm finding it difficult to believe that he never confided in you and then swore you to secrecy. You have to believe me. He... He never told me he was a synth. <laughs> Apparently, I've misjudged you, which means I've decided to take you at your word. However, that doesn't absolve you of your duty. Dance is a synth. He represents everything we hate. A monstrosity of technology. Our mission in the Commonwealth is clear. The Institute and its creations need to be destroyed in order to preserve our future. Which leaves me facing the most difficult order I've ever given. I'm ordering you to hunt down Dance and execute him. With pleasure. I'll make him pay for lying to us. I appreciate your cooperation. Listen, I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor, and this isn't an easy burden to bear. But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. Find Proctor Quinton. He's been analyzing the data and should be able to provide you with a starting point. And Knight, there's a promotion for you riding on the results of these orders. So don't disappoint me. You're dismissed. Attention, all personnel. I'm disappointed I need to address this, but unsanctioned social oh, contact nice. with Commonwealth natives I is strictly sorry. prohibited. Sorry about this business with Anyone dance. who is engaged in such fraternization should report to Night Captain Kate for Doubtful. immediate decontamination. I wouldn't miss a synth any sooner than that I miss all. a transistor radio. I was merely sorry that you'd been duped. No matter. I've been poring over Dance's duty reports, and unfortunately, I haven't found any concrete information. As you're well aware, Dance had intimate knowledge of the Commonwealth, and I'm afraid he could be seeking refuge anywhere. I think our best approach would be to identify... You may want to get com... What the hell is this crap about Dance being a synth? I assume your outburst was a ref... So he sets Dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? Orders are orders. Orders are orders? That's all you have to say? I can't believe that after everything Paladin and Dance did for you, you're just gonna turn your back on him like this. There's obviously been a mistake, and we need to get to the bottom of it. Scribe Halen, you're addressing a senior officer, and you will show her the respect that she's due, or so help me, I'll have you brought up on charges. Now, unless you're here with information that can assist us, I suggest you return to the police station immediately. Of course. My apologies, Proctor. I believe I have some information that's relevant to the search. Very well, then. Would you care to enlighten us? Or do we have to wait until you decide to grace us with your knowledge? Knight, if you'd accompany me to the flight deck, I'd like to show you the information I've compiled firsthand. I've stored the data on my Vertiberg gunship's computer. Uh -huh. I'll take anything that gets me closer to finding Dance. Yes, ma'am. If you'll follow me, ma'am. Well, if it isn't the woman who revived Prime, the Brotherhood is in your bed. This way. This way. Halen. Do you actually plan on killing Paladin Dance? I... I haven't decided yet. Well, a 
before you do. I need you to listen to what I have to say. I've known Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He trained me, showed me the ropes, and when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned my admiration, my respect, and my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. I still dance. That's a bold statement. It's more than just a statement. It's a plea. Dance is the most selfless person I've ever met. I've watched him risk his own life based on nothing more than principle alone. That's why I'm asking you, not just as a member of the Brotherhood, but as a human being, give him a chance. If you're not convinced by what... Uh -huh. All right, I'll hear him out. That's all that I ask. I'll just... <sighs> Before the... It was listening post Bravo. And it's isolated. Just... I'm not surprised Max is saying that. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. I wish you would have told me the truth, Dance. I might have, if I'd known what I was. Until Quinlan got that list decoded. I thought synths were the enemy. 
I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxon even want me alive? No, but I'm hoping there's a way out. Don't be ridiculous. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that this must be difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else, but that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxon, you're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. If you really feel that way, why did you run in the first place? The moment I learned the truth, I knew my life was in danger. I'm a soldier, so self-preservation kicked in. I needed to regroup and assess the situation. Once I got here, and I had some time to think, I realized I'd just made everything worse. I should have stayed. Like I said, I need to be the example, not the exception. The empathy that you're showing me, it's a human emotion. I appreciate what you're... I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. Is there any way out of this? We both know that this... Uh -huh. If you refuse to follow Maxon's orders, you're undermining everything the Brotherhood stands for. I can't allow that to... If it needs to be done? I've never been prouder of you than I am right now, sister. It's been a pleasure serving with you. Report, Knight. Have you handled the situation with Paladin Dance? Did you want his holotags as proof? That won't be necessary. Perhaps you should keep them as a reminder of your lapse in vigilance. Of course. Dance's execution creates a missing link in our chain of command. That traitor held quite an important position with us. I'm certain that you'll make a fine replacement. His quarters and all his possessions are now yours, including his personal suit of power armor. Congratulations, Paladin. I won't disappoint you, Elder. Had I even a single doubt in my mind, I wouldn't have awarded you the promotion. 
Just be aware that a Brotherhood Paladin is expected to be a symbol of integrity to our brothers and sisters. I trust you won't disappoint them or disappoint me. In any event, we still have the Institute to contend with and a lot of work to do before we can begin our final assault. While the finishing touches are being put onto Liberty Prime, Captain Kells has identified a potential threat to our operations. Report to him immediately for your next assignment. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Attention, Ferrum Squad, report to debriefing. Ah, Paladin. Good. Now that the unfortunate matter regarding Vance has been settled, we can return to our primary mission. I'm ready, Captain. Good, because this mission demands your full attention. Now, before we launch our attack on the Institute, we need to address another threat, the Railroad. They're a small but capable group that uses subterfuge and guerrilla tactics to harass their enemies. Our tactical analysis says they could possibly hamper or harm our operations, which is a risk I'm not willing to take. If we strike them now, we should be able to maximize the amount of damage we do to their organization. Why is the Railroad such a threat? Even with their relatively small numbers, the Railroad is a constant threat to our operations. They've already proven to be resilient against superior forces. With a knack for disappearing when cornered, worse still, they possess the capability to help Synths flee the Institute. If we intend to end the Synth menace, we need to plug the leaks. Destroying the Railroad hinges on comp To that end, Consider it done. Thank you, Paladin. Uh -huh. Now, before you depart, Proctor Ingram has additional orders for you to complete. Our sources tell us that the railroad has some sort of experimental or prototype robot in their headquarters. They're calling it the Predictive Analytic Machine, or PAM for short. <laughs> Cute, huh? They use the robot for complex strategic calculations that are much more efficient than anything we can generate. If you could use this holotape to decrypt the security on Pam's terminal, it will force the unit to return to the Pridwin. I'm certain we could put Pam's computing power to good use. Otherwise, destroy it. We wouldn't want it to fall into the Institute's hands. I'll try to get it back here in one piece. Good. I'm certain you'll do whatever it takes. When you're ready, proceed to the Old North Church in Lincoln. They'll provide demolition ad victorium. If you find anything interesting... Recon report. Knight Wagner recording. It appears the intel claiming the old CIT ruined its house that night. Was incorrect. It was well deserved, Paladin. My scouts and I spent days combing the location for a way in and turned up nothing other than a couple of minor casualties. When a contingent of synths boxed us into an old tunnel where we were sniffing around. My immediate recommendation would be to follow the trail back on whoever provided that intel. I suspect some wastelander is feeding Proctor Quinlan lies to earn some caps. Careful, man. I don't think we're alone.
of trial six. The last week has been very productive, but System reset accepted. Awaiting instructions.
Captain Kells. Well, it appears that the railroad won't be a hindrance to our future operations. Those sympathizers deserved exactly what they got. That they did. We are having it brought to the Pridwin, where it will be installed in Proctor Quinlan's office. It's an amazing piece of pre-war technology that should prove to be quite beneficial to us. Speaking of pre-war technology, Proctor Ingram is putting the final touches on Liberty Prime and requires your assistance. Congratulations on another successful mission, Paladin. Ad Victorium. Can't wait to see Liberty Prime in action again. There's a vertebrate waiting to take you to mass fusion. You look like you've been through the ringer, Paladin. Don't say that I blame you. That was a hell of a business with Dance. Can't even imagine having to look him in the face and pull the trigger. If we're going to defeat the Institute, we can't allow personal feelings to interfere with our mission. Spoken like a true disciple of Maxon. Anyway. We need to move on to more important things now. Like getting Liberty Prime off of life support. We've been feeding him power through the Pridwin's engines, but there isn't nearly enough juice to cold start his fusion reactor. That's why we need you to find us a beryllium agitator. And I'm betting you know right where to find it. Of course I do. I didn't become head of ship maintenance just because of my good looks, you know. Quinlan dug up some dirt on a company called Mass Fusion. They were a power utility company before the world went belly up. The CEO was some kind of an inventor. Dreamed up all sorts of nuclear power toys. The agitator was his crown jewel. Records show he was working on it in his lab at the top of their high-rise in the financial district. That's where we're headed. Hope you don't mind a little company, because I'm coming with you. Well, it would be helpful if you tagged along. I knew you'd see it my way. Kells has a vertebrate on standby, waiting to drop us off on the roof of the Mass Fusion Tower. Grab whatever gear you need and meet me on the flight deck. But don't take too long. If the Institute finds out the Agitator's there, they'll do everything they can to keep it out of our hands.
Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.